A commonly used bin is one of the things I probably couldn't live without when working in Premiere, and today I'm going to show you how you can create your own. To start with, what is the commonly used bin and why should you start using it in your daily editing? A commonly used bin is exactly what the name says. It's a bin consisting of commonly used footage, for example sound effects, images and titles. Instead of having to drag in this footage slash audio for every new project you create, this bin can be established within your project template for ease of access in all future projects. If you don't have a project template, please feel free to go and check out my video on creating a project template in Premiere Pro. Further to this, why should you start using a commonly used bin? Organization is key when it comes to workflow and efficiency and without these two factors, an editor will be less effective at creating a finished product. So how does one create a commonly used bin? Start by creating a root editing folder. Within the root folder, create a new folder called commonly used. Place any manner of resources within this bin that you find you constantly use throughout the editing process. Now open the project template within Premiere. Create a new bin within your root bin and call it commonly used. Now open up Explorer and navigate to the folder we just created. Select all the footage within and drag it into the commonly used bin. This bin will now contain all of your commonly used resources. Save the project template and, if you're like me, save the changes made to the editing workspace if you prefer to drag your panels to different locations on the screen. Quickly going back to project templates, a user by the name of Gordon Sandvoss commented on the project template video, saying that once your project template has been created and is to your standard, you should lock edits. To do this, save it and right click on the file in explorer slash finder. Set that file to read only so that you cannot accidentally change something if for example you forgot to save the project somewhere else and you have footage from a new project within it. Thanks for watching this video. The videos mentioned can be found in the description so please feel free to go and check those out if you haven't already. If you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Adobe VS content. Having an issue you think I may be of help with, tell me about it in the comments section or open the thread and mention me in the Adobe forums. My username is in the description. Hope you have a great day and see you in the next video.